Alright guys, I have here a quick OBS tutorial that actually answers a lot of questions that some of you may have about streaming and recording at the same time without showing your overlays. This is a question I receive so often and I don't really have an answer to until now. This video is brought to you by me and my new YouTube Hard Truths podcast. Want to start your own YouTube channel? Want to make it big as a content creator? Well, there's some lessons you need to learn, and not all of them are nice or easy. And I have a podcast for you. Check it out via the podcast feeds linked in the video description, or there's a whole dedicated YouTube channel for a video version of the series as well. All right, so first and foremost, I have OBS Studio open here. This will work with Streamlabs OBS or normal OBS for the most part. And I have it installed with the NDI plugin. You may be rolling your eyes, but yes, this is actually the solution to your problem as actually created by Elgato in their Streamlink version uh, feature of their 4K capture utility. But you don't need an Elgato for this. This will work with Streamlabs OBS, normal OBS, whether you're using a capture card or not. Uh, NDI output settings here, you see I have it off right now. Here I have crafted a quick, generic, super rushed uh, Twitch layout, and I have Make a quick follow bacon. alert thrown on here, PS4 capture, webcam, you know, a normal stream capture. Now you could stream and record this, but everything in your recording is going to have those overlays, and it's going to have all of your other stream elements. So there's a couple things you could do here. First and foremost, you could... Uh, if you well, you need to decide if you want to have basically a live commentary, kind of everything that you see on stream, except for a couple overlays in the pop-up alerts, or if you just want your like say gameplay captured. If you just want your gameplay captured, you'll want to go to the video capture device for game capture. You know whatever source your actual gameplay is coming from. Right-click it, go to uh, filters, add. Audio video filter. Actually, no, it's under effect filter. Dedicated NDI output. Because if you do audio video filter, it'll be audio only. But dedicated NDI output. And then you can give it a name. Gameplay only. Now this will send an NDI stream from your computer or within your computer of just your gameplay scene here. You can see here in this preview, it is only the gameplay window. Not my webcam and not if I test the follow alert. That doesn't pop up on here. So you can just get your gameplay. Alternatively, you and, and then you can use your normal OBS as is to live stream, and you can continue to later in the tutorial where I'll show you how to capture just this. Alternatively, you can set up a primary, basically set up everything except for your stream overlays here. So here I turned off my sub alerts from Streamlabs. You can set up everything as is that you want to just record by itself in a normal instance of OBS. And it would be easier if you do use Streamlabs OBS to do this in normal OBS Studio and then do your live stream setup in Streamlabs OBS. So I'll go ahead and do that. We open up Streamlabs OBS or you can launch a second instance of OBS Studio using these parameters here for dash dash portable or dash P so that it opens a separate instance of OBS but without changing your main settings. So here in Streamlabs OBS, we will now make a new scene. We'll call this... Twitch feed. I'm going to go ahead and add a widget. You know, you add whatever overlays you would normally use within StreamOS. We'll just do alert box here. That way you have that pop up. Add new source. We'll make it real big and obnoxious here. And you can add an image overlay. We'll add uh, image source here. Add source. Add new source. Find the overlay. I, 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 I clearly haven't live streamed in a while, as you guys probably know. So I don't exactly have a regular go-to Twitch layout at the moment. I still have my older ones. We'll just add my Intel logo. I used that in a stream not too long ago. We'll make that nice and big. That's a little ridiculous, but you, you get the idea. You don't want this in your YouTube recording, theoretically. So there we have our overlays. And if I test the alert, make it, make it, bam, make it, make it pops up. So... We have our normal feed that we want to record, so then you would want to go to Profile, Duplicate, Recording Twitch Profile, and you want to set up this profile with higher quality recording settings that's dedicated for recording, because you will be recording in this instance. And again, this can be multiple instances of Streamlabs OBS or normal OBS. You're recording here, so you set up this profile for recording, and then you go to Tools, NDI Output Settings, Main Output, 
hit OK, and you are now outputting via NDI right here. So then in your version of OBS that you will be streaming from, you now add that as a NDI source. So new source, NDI source, add it, recording feed, add new source. You now have two different sources. Well, you should only have one, which will be the OBS source. Click OK, choose whichever options you normally use. Defaults are usually fine. You want highest bandwidth. It's running from internally inside your computer, so you don't have to worry about using up your internet bandwidth or your network at your network interface bandwidth or anything like that because it's inside your computer you're not sending it to anyone else so you don't have to worry about that and then you add it in and add it through with your overlays and your webcam and your audio however you have it mixed to record will be brought in perfectly to use here and you're good to go i can Thank test you. follow it's going to pop you. up on here but not pop up in the recording feed tell this one to live stream to twitch tell this one to record locally you have it good to go that's it NDI is pretty freaking awesome, and it can really save your bacon if you want to record without overlays and do a lot of different things like this. Thanks to the OBS Discord for giving me the kick in the pants to finally make this video and get the idea rolling. Thanks to you for watching. Hit the like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more awesome tech content. My cats are fighting in the background. I need to go check that out. I'll see you next time. Go check out my OBS Masterclass if you haven't already, and OBS Streamlabs OBS version will be coming out very soon.